Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you how you would transfer a save file from like one computer to another computer or whatever like whatever reason you'd want to transfer a save file from one computer to another computer. Maybe you've got a new computer. Um, maybe you just want to make sure that your saves are backed up. Whatever reason. I personally use two computers. I have my own computer and then my husband and I share a gaming computer um, which I've been doing all my recording on now and then my personal computer I use when he's on this computer uh, but anyways I'm going to show you what you would do. First thing that you're going to want to do is launch your game. Okay so now that we have the game loaded you're going to go over here you'll click on load game So now we have all our saves loaded. Uh, so for instance, this is a family I've been playing with off camera, my personal time, not sharing it. This is my 100 baby challenge, Goffs, my legacy, not so berry. This is just a folder I have for builds. That was my Strangerville and then this was another one that I was playing. This is how you find out where it's saved on your computer. So. For instance, this is save 47. Okay, so then you want to get out of your game. And then you want to open up my documents. You know, the whole shebang. So documents, Tronica Art, Sims 4. And you want to go into your save folder. And so you find whatever save you want. So that was save 47. So I would go here. You want to copy it. I would suggest copying it, not removing it um, because you want to keep that. Now there are multiple ways you can transfer it. Um, I personally have a portable hard drive. I also have a phone drive. Uh, so if you have one of those, you can just plop it right on there. Um, you can probably email it to yourself, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what- Okay, so I just plugged in my portable hard drive, so what I would do is, um, I have the special folder called Key Legacy on my portable hard drive, and I would just drop it right in there. I always have one on here, and then I would just paste. And you may get something like this if you've done this multiple times. I just hit copy and replace. And then you have the updated save. So if you go from one computer to another computer, that would be how you would do it. Um, or if you got a new computer and you want to transfer your save files, you could just, you wouldn't be able to email it to yourself this way, depending on how many saves you have. But um, you could do it like that. You could do it one save at a time, though that would be a headache and a take forever so I wouldn't suggest that so in case you're wondering how do I send an email to myself it's quite fine you just type in your email address so you would put in your email address you can make the subject anything you want sometimes I don't even send my emails with subjects when I'm emailing myself and then you want to attach a file you want to find the file I'm just grab it off here you would want to grab, attach the file, so then you'll see it upload. And then you just want to send it to yourself. It's that simple. 